Hilaria Baldwin's accent has sparked controversy on social media. The wife of actor Alec Baldwin was exposed for potentially exaggerating her roots in a decade-long attempt to make herself look exotic. Married life is really nice. You know, it feels different. I mean, I believe so. That's what I do. Um, I mean, I love to be able to go to the gym or go for a run and stuff like that, but like that doesn't always happen. It's one of the things that makes our relationship work because he can be being him and I'm like really angry with him and then I can say something and he's like, what did you say? And I'm like, I said I love you. But the problem is not just her fake Spanish accent. She always implied that she had been born in Mallorca, Spain. Or at least that's what it said on her official speaker page that has since been edited. My wife is from Spain. Mm -hmm. My wife is from Spain. Mm -hmm. My wife is from Spain. Mm -hmm. She went to Instagram to explain herself and she spoke with no accent at all. There's been some questions about where I'm born. I'm born in Boston. And then I spent some of my childhood in Boston, some of my childhood in Spain. My family, my brother, my parents, my nephew, everybody is over there in Spain. Now I'm here. She finally said that she was actually born in Boston to all American parents and raised in Spain. But again, why pretend that she sometimes forgets English words like cucumber? We have, um, a, how do you say anything? Cucumber? Cucumber. All right. Accents are exotic and a great way to spark mystery and interest. Just ask Antonio Banderas. I'm sure she fell in love with Spanish culture with the paellas and the tapas. My speculation is that when she returned to the United States, she was told that her accent was beautiful. And to the obvious question, are you Spanish? It would be much charming to just say... Una española. Yeah, I'm sure that's how she pictured it in her mind. I think it's great that she's raising her children to be bilingual. She even calls them Baldwinitos, which, come to think of it, sounds like the Breaking Bad cast forming a mariachi band. But it's another thing to force her Latina attitude to look more Latina. Like he would tell me all these things about like, I'm gonna marry you, I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with you, we're gonna have a ton of kids. And, then and by the way, Latino and Spanish are two different things, and if you mix them up, Sofia Vergara will come and kick you in the face. I am mad. I know that I'm not the most qualified to talk about accents, since I sound like Carl Lightman being played by Ricky Ricardo. And yes, every time I say my name in my English videos, I feel like this. My name is Genigo Montoya. You might say that this is all about show business nonsense, but I think it's a very interesting discussion. It's great when you feel attracted to a different culture, like, for example, how the Japanese love flamenco music. But if you pretend that you're something that you're not, even if you're just vague about it, it's not going to end well, especially if you are a very public person. And yes, I'm talking about Elizabeth Holmes. What is your take on Hilaria Baldwin's accent? Thanks for sharing it in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my body language analysis and tips. ¿Pesamos una vez con la parte de español?